Hey, welcome to Grandpa's World. Today we're going to do part two of aliens, UFOs, and abductions in Missouri. Okay, it's in 1930 in Piedmont, Missouri. It was August 10th on a farm that has been in the family since the 1850s. Uh, Nancy was 90 years old now. She's lived on the farm her whole life. In the 1930s, it was her mom, dad, grandma, siblings, and her. Now they had what was called the sleeping porch. Now for those of you who do not know what the screened in room, you can sleep in through the summer. So it'd be cooler, but like before air conditioning. The younger children took turns sleeping on the porch. None of them wanted to sleep there because of the little gray men. For many, many generations, this family has had to live with the aliens. And they were always afraid of them. There are stories of these men clear back to the Civil War when this woman was 10 years old. It was her turn to sleep on the porch. She had laid down when one of them walked up. This alien had big eyes. It was looking down at her through the window. And, well, of course, she got scared, realized that there was three of them there. They were all about four foot tall, had no hair, big black eyes, no nose or mouth, they had thin arms. Next thing she knew, they were standing next to her bed. She wondered how they got in. She wanted to duck under a blanket, but couldn't. She never saw a craft of any type. The children never got to go outside after dusk. Everyone knew that if one of them were taken by the aliens, that they would always be returned by morning. This woman still lives on the farm. She's now 90 years old. She still sees them, but now no one ever sleeps on the porch. Uh, kind of gives me a few goosebumps, but I think I would like to have been in that area, so maybe I could have seen them too. I think it probably would have been cool, and maybe they could have taken me away. Ha! Anyway, that's all for Grandpa's World today. See you later on.